Yeah, it was cool. She was up in town for the holidays. Okay, well, let's get started. Uh, the problems that I just sent you uh, includes a uh, series of questions from some practice tests for standardized tests. And uh, I give uh, the GRE and the GMAT tests the same uh, weight here, uh, the same weight, the same, same amount of attention because they are closely aligned in terms of style and content. So uh, this is a both GRE and GMAT math presentation. This is actually from a practice GRE test. And the question states, if the coordinates of point P are R and T in the XY plane. That's what I forgot to include. X and Y. I'm playing with my new pen mouse. <clears throat> and the following are the equations of three lines, L, M, and N, where L is Y equals 3X minus 3, M is y equals one half x and n is y equals negative x plus one then which of the following inequalities is not true which of the following inequalities is not true we have five answer choices and we have to eliminate them I always like to start by eliminating some obvious ones. Do you see any obviously wrong answers? R plus T is greater than 1. That's correct. That's obviously wrong. Very good. And that's because both R and T are in the first quadrant. So both R and T have to be positive, and they're both greater than 1. We don't know their position, but we know that they're both greater than 1. And since they're both added together and greater than 1, how about option 5 here? That their addition is greater than 1, but their multiplication is greater than 0 and that's going to be true. They're both positive. So that one's still true. Notice the question asks what is not true and that's a big deal. I hate that blue. I keep forgetting to turn that off. Who wants a blue highlighter? Okay. What would you do next? These are just problems so I'm going to be Socratic the whole time and ask questions because it's my class. I get to do what I want. <laughs> Where would you go next? Do you have a right answer? Have a guess at an answer. You're thinking. Option two. Okay. I thought that as well. And is that your final answer, as they would say on a game show? We're going to keep option two. Best guess. Okay. <clears throat> well, Let's look at the equations of the line. P is defined in between line M and line L. So it is greater than M, it is less than L, and it's greater than N. But basically, N is irrelevant, or for the most part. It's um, this one we've already eliminated. So we don't have to use N anymore. We figured that one out. So if Y, the R value, excuse me, the T value is equal to one half the R value where X is over here, I can just substitute those two and I could say T and put in my inequality 
for line M, T must be greater than and sorry. Getting used to it. One half R. If I solve for R, I get 2t is greater than R. So that's true. We just determined that that one's true. So will t be less than 4r? Or is that true? t is less than 4r. Well, we know t has to be less than this area coming down. So the t value is less than this area here. So let's put in for line L t is equal to 3 r minus 3. And it's less than that t is always going to be less than this value because it's underneath it. So let's solve for what t is less than. So t is less than 3r minus 3. Does that mean that t is less than 4r? Yeah, you think so. It is. Actually, it is. So if we went through a little bit more in depth, it is. And what we're going to do here is compare what I just wrote down as the inequality to the fourth option choice. And let's just put 3r minus t, and let's see what its inequality is. So I'm going to move t to the other side, and I have 3, and let is less than 3r minus t. When I compare these two, 3r minus t is greater than 3. This says 3r minus t is less than 3. So which one is not true? Is this one, option number 4. Okay? Sorry you didn't have time to do these questions. So take a moment to take a look at this one. It shows a big fraction. And the question is, what is this fraction equal to? Option two, excellent. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of these four ninths. So I've put them together. This looks something like this. And over six. The six is cancel. One, our answer is excellent. Okay. We have two intersecting lines that have some triangles. And this 35 is the measure of angle here. So what is the measure of 